So welcome to step six of our mini series on building your own image recognition classifier. Uh, so what we've done in the last step is gone through some general image recognition, but now what we can do is start using some of the custom classifiers that IBM's got built in to the visual recognition service. Now, this is actually a reasonably easy step to step over and start using some of these custom classifiers. So, and one of the ones that we're gonna use is the food classifier. So the food classifier is a more specific classifier that's already built within the visual recognition service and it'll allow you to, I guess, delve into more detailed classifications of food. So let's try this out. So, uh, so before we were using an image of a computer on our image classifier, so now let's try an image of an orange, for example. And let's grab, yeah, this one should do. Let's check this fine again. Yeah, that should be fine. So again, just make sure it's still a JPEG file. And what we'll do now is we'll replace this URL with our URL of our orange. And now we're going to add in an extra parameter into this classify method. So we're still classifying at the moment. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna extend or delve into some of the more custom classifiers that IBM's got there. And to do this, all we need to do is type in classifier, always type this wrong, and IDs equals food. So now this will allow us to tap into that. So let's try this. And we should actually see here, if everything's run successfully, this classifier ID translates or changes to food. So let's try running that cell again. So it looks like it's run successfully. And you can see that now that it's actually picked up the food classifier. And again, it's classified it as an orange pretty successfully. Now this might seem like a bit of a trivial step, but it's actually pretty important because in the next video, we're actually gonna go through how to create your own custom classifications. And you'll see there that all the custom classifications that, that we generate are going to show up as classifier IDs. 